All right, so I'm going to do a the first dimensional analysis problem that we have on this worksheet. Uh, and this is going to specifically address how to use a percentage that's given in a word problem as a conversion factor um, in a problem like this. So for this problem here, let's note here that we've got if 1.4% of the mass of a human body is calcium, how many kilograms of calcium are there in a 173 pound man? And the best way to utilize that 1.4% is to recognize that a percentage can be written as a fraction. So the easiest way to do this is note that 1.4% is the same as 1.4 over 100. Um, that is one way to write this as a fraction. You could also write it as the decimal form of uh, 1.4%. So if you know how to get to the decimal form, it's just you divide by 100 essentially. Um, the decimal form of 1.4% of would be 0.014, and that is basically over 1, or you could just kind of leave it as 0.014. But if we're trying to express this as a conversion factor, let's recognize that part of the point of that is to, to see how the units are related to each other. And so we want to have that ratio between the units. And so that's why I'm including the one on the bottom there. But um, either one of these expressions would work for 1.4%. In fact, you could even um, do other multiplications of this, you know, uh, 14 over 1,000 would still be the same ratio. Um, most of you, though, will probably be most comfortable with the first way that I represented this, which is to just say that 1.4% means that I have 1.4 of something in 100 of something. And so if I'm writing it this way, um, let's talk about what those units would be. So 1.4 of what? Well, it's 1.4% of the mass of a human body is calcium. So that means 1.4 grams of calcium would be in every 100 grams of body weight is how that would work. Now, I've expressed this in terms of grams here, but you could do this with any unit that's appropriate. As long as the unit stays the same, it's just the, the type of that unit that is different. So notice here that because it's a percent by mass, we know that it's still grams on the top and grams on the bottom, but it's grams of something that's important here. So it's grams of calcium out of grams of a total weight that includes calcium and maybe other things that are present there. Um, so another way we could write this, just because I'm noting here that I'm gonna be working in kilograms in terms of my final answer. I wanna have this in kilograms. So if I wanna avoid another um, conversion step, it would make sense to express this mass percent in terms of kilograms instead of having it in terms of grams. And that's very easy to change. I just basically change both these units from grams to kilograms because it still represents the same thing, right? If I have 1.4 grams of calcium per every 100 grams of body weight, then that means I also have 1.4 kilograms of calcium per every 100 kilograms of body weight. So again, as long as the units for whatever the percentage is representing, as long as they're in the same unit system and have the same prefix, then it's really just the identifier after that that is different between these two things. Okay, so now that I have this equivalent statement that relates this um, kilograms of calcium to the kilograms of body weight, and I note that that's allowing me to use this percentage that was given in the problem, which is our only conversion factor that we're actually given in the text of the problem here, then I want to move on to, well, what, what am I exactly trying to convert? Like, what are my steps going to be? And so, again, I call this my roadmap that I usually come up with for a problem. Um, and we'll note here that we're starting, sorry if you can hear the dog barking in the background. Um, we're starting here with pounds. And so I'm going to have pounds of body weight. I'm just going to abbreviate that BW for now. That I'm trying to convert first into kilograms of body weight and that's because of the fact that this conversion factor I had kilograms of body weight in here well the 173 pound man that's pounds of body weight right so I want to take pounds into kilograms first and I'm just noting that, that those values are going to be associated with the body weight that I'm dealing with once I have the kilograms of body weight for this 173 pound man then I can get to whoops then I can get to the kilograms of the calcium that I'm going to have so my roadmap here is to go from pounds to kilograms in terms of the body weight, 
and then to use this percentage to take my kilograms of body weight into kilograms of calcium. So if I set this up, I'm going to start with the 173 pound man, so pounds of body weight. And I recognize that that is in my numerator. And I'm going to convert first into uh, pounds of body weight. So I want to put my pounds of body weight on the bottom and have my kilograms of body weight on the top. And to know what numbers I'm going to be plugging in here, I can come up and note that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So I put 1.1 with the kilograms and 2.2 with the pounds. And so that is going to get my units from pounds of body weight into kilograms of body weight. So now I can use the equivalent statement that we came up with here of 1.4 kilograms of calcium being equal to 100 kilograms of body weight. And I can use that on the next conversion factor with the goal being to cancel out kilograms of body weight and to end up with the kilograms of calcium. So the numbers I have are going to be 1.4, which is associated with the kilograms of calcium, and 100 on the bottom, which is associated with the kilograms of body weight. And so 173 pounds, I'm going to multiply that by 1. I'm going to divide by 2.2. I'm going to multiply by 1.4. And then I'm going to divide by 100. So 173 divided by 2.2 times 1.4 and divided by 100. And don't forget to do that divided by 100 at the end there because that is very important. The number we get from this is 1.1009 kilograms of calcium. So that my final answer is actually just gonna be 1.1. And that's because of the conversion factor between the kilograms of calcium and kilograms of body weight. Notice here that this had 1.4, which has the sig figs of 2, and so our final answer should have a sig figs of 2. Um, notice that um, usually for percentages, the 100 on the bottom is considered an exact number um, because you're not going to usually represent the percentage as, you know, like part of 100, um, or for whatever reason, that's just kind of like the, the general uh, convention for this. The 100 on the bottom doesn't count towards the sig figs. Uh, but the 1.4 does because that's what we were given, right? We were given this 1.4% that's indicating that we only know the percentage to the sig figs of two places, right? Two sig figs. And so that means our answer should be in two sig figs. Even though our weight that we started with was had three sig figs, this percentage is limiting that. Okay, so my final answer then would just be 1.1 kilograms of calcium.